My name's David Reynolds. I'm the author of a new book called The Long Shadow, The Great War in the 20th Century. And I'm standing in front of the Imperial War Museum in South London. That was uh, established a century ago to remember the men who fought in the Great War. It's now going through a major renovation, a hundred years on, so that the galleries and the exhibits will be appropriate uh, to tell the story of the Great War to the 21st century. And my book chimes in with that mood because I think a hundred years on from that great conflict, we need to think again about what the Great War was really about. My book, The Long Shadow, is about what happened after 1918, how the war affected the 1920s and 1930s, a period we tend to write off as the interwar years, in other words, just a bracket between one conflict and another. And I'm showing in the first half of my book how the 1920s and 1930s were much better for the British people than they were for the French, the Germans, the Russians. We got through some of the big events of the post-war period, the explosion of democracy, the readjustment of the world economy, far better than our continental neighbours. The second half of my book is about how the Great War looked different after 1945 when it became the First World War, the unsuccessful prelude to a second, more dramatic, and more decisive conflict against a much more appalling enemy, Nazi Germany. In the light of the Second World War, in the light of the Cold War, the Great War looked different, and that's how, what I'm telling in the second half of the book, looking at how soldiers and ordinary soldiers became much more important, looking at how the war poets eventually became our great interpreters of the conflict and taking us right up to the present day to a period when the old veterans have died off. There are now no soldiers alive who fought in the Great War. And I want to suggest that a hundred years on, this is the time when we need to look again at the Great War as history rather than as memory. That's the point of the long shadow.